Let's learn how to create a basketball in Blender and how to add a proper texture really fast and easy. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial, so let's jump on it. We are starting with the default cube and we want to make it spherical and for that we will go here to modifiers and add subdivision surface modifier with the levels of 2 and just apply it. So we have really nice cubical sphere. And now let's go to the front view and we want to cut it. So let's go to the edit here and let's go to wireframe mode with the X-ray here and select this, press and hold shift, select this, go with the seven on the Mary keyboard to the top view and select this X on a keyboard and delete vertices. And we have just one portion of it. Instead of making the basketball lines on all part of the spheres, we are making on one and just mirror it. So here, I just want to go back right there. I want to use knife, K on a keyboard for knife, click from this vertex to this and to somewhere here approximately. Press enter and you're done. Now let's go back to object mode and what we want to do is to go to modifiers and add a mirror modifier with all three axes and with the clipping part and just apply it. So we are basically where we started but with that difference if you go to edge we can see that we added to all side these edges. This is what we wanted. Okay, let's go back to the object. And here I want to add another subdivision surface modifier with a level of one and apply it. And now you can see this is not perfectly round. So in order to make it round, let's go to the faces, for example, select all by pressing A and you can go to the mesh transform and to sphere or keyboard shortcut that I like to use shift alt S or shift option S on a Mac and just move it with the mouse to the right side and you can see it's a perfect sphere. Perfect. Now let's go back to the edge and select these edges by holding Alt and Shift. So this, 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 middle one, middle one, and on the other side and also on the bottom side here, basically this and this. And what we have here now is basketball edges, the shape of these basketball lines. And this is it. And now the optional part. The optional part that I really love to do because it's quick and simple is to save these edges as a selection. So like go here to the data and vertex group, just press create new vertex group, assign and you're done. And now whatever you're doing, if you select something by accident, you can always go and just here select what you saved. And this is what we need. Perfect. Now what we want to do is to create a bevel. So control B and just bevel it something like this. And we want to go with the four segments and this is pretty much okay we can make it a little bit narrow maybe maybe like that and now we need to press ctrl minus two times to go back to our original selection and uh, now what i like to do go back to the object go here and add another level of subdivision surface with a level of two right click shade smooth and this is really nice and now let's go back to the edges and we have already selected all of this. I want to go to the proportional editing and press Alt S to scale these edges in. But now we need to go with the mouse, scroll it down until we have something like this and just nicely push it in. So maybe let's see the size. I'm eyeballing it something like this. And if you go back to the object, you will see we have beautiful basketball shape and this is what we want. Okay, now it's time to add materials. And this is really simple and easy. So let's go here and bring this up and I want to go from timeline to shader editor. Perfect. And by the way, you can download this project file, the basketball, the finished version on my Patreon. You have the link down there in the description, so check it out. All right, so basically what we want to do is to go here to the materials or here, it doesn't matter. And I want to rename this material to ball. Okay, and I want to add color, so it's same here or here, it doesn't matter. So I want to add some kind of orangey tone. In order to see what you're doing, you need to go here to viewport shading and this is it. Okay, now let's make these lines black. So how to do it? Well, let's go back to the edge. We have already our edges selected in case we don't have it. Just go here and select and you will have like this. And now let's go minus ones. If you are here, just go with control plus ones. Otherwise, control minus ones. You want just this as a selection. And now, just go create a new material here. Name it however you want. I will name it trim. Okay, and assign it and choose a black color for that. Something like, 
like that, it's perfectly okay. And if you go back to the object, this is it. You can stop here, perfectly okay for a lot of situations, this is more than enough, but I want to go even further and to add that really nice texture to the basketball. And for that, I will go back to the ball. And now this is where this part came in. So I will go with Shift A and go with the Voronoi texture. Okay, this. And I want to go with the bump, Shift A and search bump. And bump node will go here, normal to normal, obviously. And distance will go to height. And now it will be crazy. So this is, this is how it looks. We will scale it here a little bit, but we have like holes inside and we want to invert this. Perfect, we want like some bumps. All right, but mm, this is not good. We need to tweak it. So for that, I will go with Shift A and Color Ramp. Okay, and just place it here. And now I just need to go and push this up and push this down until I have really nice circles. And I want with randomize to go all the way to zero for now. Okay, and if you want to see better what you're doing, you need to go to edit and enable node wrangler, go to add-ons and just search for node and node wrangler, just enable it. And now you can press control and shift and click here and you will see only this node. So this is what I like and I want. So basically I will go with this more up, okay? And with this a little bit, something like this for now. But you see the pattern is not what we like. So basically I want to propagate this over the UV coordinates. So for here with the Voronoi texture, I will go and press Control T and it will automatically add the mapping here uh, this is the part of uh, node, uh, node Wrangler that you just enable it. And I want to go from generated here to UV. And now it's much better. This is what I want, but you can see here the UVs are not good. We need to make our, our UVs, better UVs. And this is really simple and easy. If you are not familiar what the UVs are and how to easily unwrap any model, any object, check out this video right here. It's explained everything. You will know everything for sure. But here I'll explain you really quickly and easily. Go here to UV editing. Okay, go make sure that you're in edges, click somewhere to deselect everything and now select by holding Alt and Shift this edge and this edge, not in between, not the outside, these two and like all the way these two and these two and what we're missing, these two. Okay, now that we selected this, we want to make cuts, to make seams, so I'll press U on a keyboard and go and say mark these and seams. So basically like we mark this where we want to cut this ball to be basically unwrap it. And now I will press A to select everything, U and just click unwrap. And these are the parts that we basically cut the basketball in a lot of different parts. It's perfectly good for this situation. I will go back to layout and now you will see it's much, much, much better. And this is what we want, but these dots are too big so basically to make it smaller we want to go with the scale a little bit up so something like like this probably let's see we can always play with this this is a procedural material so we can always change whatever we want let's see decent and now i can play here with this maybe like that maybe like that and i want to add a little bit of randomize like that, just a little bit, not too much. Perfect. And if we go with uh, Control Shift and click here, we have this. It's not there yet. So we want to go with the strength a little bit down. Perfect. This is good. But we want also to add some randomization in colors. We want th those bumps to be darker. So I will go sh uh, with this color ramp node, Shift D to make it uh, copy. And now color to factor, color to color here. And this is it. Now we just need to go here with, oops, with this black and choose some kind of uh, orange tone like that. Perfect. And go with the white. I will go all the way right and choose another orange tone for the basketball. So this is, this is it. You see how this looks. You can tweak these tones to make different, uh, colors, different variations, whatever you want. So it's optional, make it however you think is good. I think this is pretty decent. And uh, also you can tweak here 
if you want to make it bigger or smaller so let's go with the scale a little bit more and maybe let's see maybe like that this is this seems pretty decent and this is it we have beautiful basketball with the texture so this is the, the material this is how it looks optionally and additionally you can add displacement map for cycles so how to do it just add here displacement node and i know add it somewhere here put it here on the displacement and in that node you can go with all of this on the height and now it, it will be crazy and now we need to go right here to the render switch from ev to cycles and go here to material and go all the way down to settings and uh, displacement instead of bump only go to displacement and bump and also i want to go with uh, here with uh, cycles gpu and also experimental and now we want to go here with really low number 0.2 for example or even lower and let's go here and let's see see how crazy it is so 0.01 or even less 0.04 0.005 so if you want to do that that's an optional uh, we need to invert this obviously we need to go with minus to invert it like that and this is an option if you want to do like that for some situations this is good and you need it for a lot of situations you don't need it this is perfectly fine this is how it looks in cycles and uh, let's go I'm just showing you as an option and this is it you can render it at different lighting, uh, do whatever you want. And like this, really fast and easy, you have really nice basketball that you can use for any project you want. Don't forget, you can download this project file down there in the description is the link for my Patreon, so you can support me there. Right, guys, if you like this video, press the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't already and check out my next video right here. See you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.